last time on Dog Naropa Trigger Happy Havoc. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time! Hooray! Time for real! Been found guilty! I'm for the punishment! And now, back to trying to ditch school. Just do it. Okay. Hey everyone. It's Finn Daily 1988 here again, and I'm back for more Dog Naropa. Trigger Happy Havoc. Last time we went to trial, and after Makoto had a, had a strange dream of Kyoko getting punished, it turned out he got punishment instead. But unlike with Kyoko that got smashed in his dream, he got saved by Alter Ego and fell, fell, fell down into the depths of hell. What's happening now? I don't know, but let's find out, shall we? Because the massive high school towers over all the other buildings in this bustling urban area. It's like the school stands in the entire world. Let's pick Academy. In a minute. Has the game reset itself? What the hell? It brings in top students from all, every field imaginable. Our government funded school of privilege. Anything. It's not the main campus. One, two, three, four, five. There's only one in five floors here. They say if you come here and imagine they graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop in the network every the workforce every year. Hundreds of years, wait a minute. But Nagi's class is the 78th class. But it's only 78 years of hundreds of hundreds of years of my ass. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future. Let's make hope speak a pretty fitting name. There are two things you need to attend the school. One, you you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary school can row here. Only way is only way in is is if you're scouted by the school itself. Then there, the gates of the ultimate school, full of the ultimate students, was me. Eep. Eh. 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 Yeah. Meep. What? Where am I? Again. I woke up with my head resting on the top of a very hard wooden desk. My body felt heavy. It wouldn't be weird for me to zonk off in the middle of a class or of a boring class or whatever, but what am I doing sleep here just now? I wasn't, I wasn't in class I've ever seen before, and I, something smelled really, really badly. What the heck is going on? Meep? Eh? Finally! I can feel my mind and my body start to come back together again. 
and then I was awake. Or is this just another dream? A dream inside a hopeless nightmare. No, this isn't a dream. I can tell by this, like the stench between my nostrils was too powerful for a dream. What an awful smell. <laughs> I was in a vast, dark cavern with the barest hint of light seeping in. Trash was piled high all across the area. This must be some kind of underground garbage pit. I got to wait to find myself in. But that was just the beginning of my problems. Was I going to be you stuck in here so I wasted away and died? No, I can't let, can't let, let that happen. Not to what my good friend went through to save me. I remember all too well what happened. Alter Ego saved me. And used up the last little, little bit of his strength to do it. Alter Ego, never forget you. Never forget. So I can't give up now. For myself and for my friend. I said friend. For that friend betrayed me! And with that, my pursuit of survival, my pursuit of survival began. First up was start looking for a way out of it there. Is that an airplane? So something like that went up in the school's garbage pit. This is a desk. Probably the one that fell down here with me. That's a rocket. And a tank? Hey, the rocket is the beginning of the game. I might not think got too much about what I'm seeing down here. And finally, a door. It's locked. No matter how many times I push or pull or kick at it, it didn't budge. Getting out of here isn't going to be that easy. Well, it's not getting out of here anytime soon. I said look around for some food. There's pl there is plenty of food here, but it's all rotten. That was pointless too. I thought I should throw some water. I can't be sure which liquids I can drink and which ones are are, are an all around bad idea. Again, pointless. I feel like I'm blocked in it all, on all sides. Because that's still not enough reason to give up hope. Give, because Because I'm still alive. As long as I'm alive, I will never give up. After making that proud decoration, the thing I decided to do was go to sleep. My sleep was deep and uninterrupted. That's the only. That was my only way to preserve what strength, little strength I had left after not being able to eat or drink. I can't be sure, but I think at least a full day had to have passed. And all I did was sleep and sleep. The sleep of angels. It was like I was waiting for some kind of sign to come falling out of the sky. However, right what fell from the sky wasn't a sign. Not exactly. Garunch. Garunch. What the? The strange sound pierced my silent isolation, jarring me awake. As I watched, the pile of garbage jostled and formed an odd shape. Something fall down over there. 
being filled from up above. What could it have been? <coughs> Did a giant piece of trash just fall down here? I carefully stretched my hand out towards whatever it, it was that just it had tumbled down here with me. Just a second. A giant piece of trash. Rude. Before she even emerged from the pile of garbage, I knew who it was. It smells awful. Kyoko! I immediately went to hug her. Indeed. You look like you're doing better than I expected. What are you doing here? So... It's not obvious. I'm here to help you. I'm glad to hear that, Kyoko. Um, you got a little bit of garbage in your hair. Cup. Cup. Goko Bick. <sighs> Neep. He gave her head a quick, sharp shake to get rid of the trash, then faced me again. Hey. First, I have something for you. Go ahead and eat. We can talk once you're finished. Yeah. Thank you. I snatched the bread and the water she was holding out for me. One second, it was in my mouth and making its way towards my stomach. Phew, that really hit the spot. Now I got all the energy I need to keep going. <laughs> hmm. Smiley face. So, you still haven't given up yet then? Of course not. After all, the fact that I can keep going forward is about all I'm good at. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not that's a bad thing to be good at. But Kyoko, why'd you come to rescue me? So... To pay a debt, or no, to atone. Atone? You... During the class trial, even though you knew I was lying, you didn't say anything. Well, I thought about it. You even had a strange dream about it. So, you knew that I knew? Indeed. But even though I knew, I did nothing to help you. I... I abandoned you. Don't say that. You didn't abandon me. No, that's exactly what I did. I abandoned you in order to save my own life. You were trying to save me. I couldn't bring myself to do the same thing for you. However... But listen. I I'm trying to make excuses, but... There was a reason that I had to survive, no matter the cost. Why you did have to survive? It's true. I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything. The reason I have to survive. In other words. Is so I can do what I came to the school to do. What? I made up my mind to come to Topes Peak Academy for one very important reason. Do you have some reason to come from the Hope's Peak? Besides, you know, school and stuff? Indeed. That's right. At least I did once. Once? I... Until recently, I'd forgotten what that was. You forgot, but that's...
I had no memory of what my purpose was. No memory? That's impossible. Amnesia! <laughs> then, is it really true? You lost your memory? Makoto. Do you remember Makoto? Do you remember the first thing that happened to each of us since we arrived at the school? The first thing. I'm talking about when we fainted, right? I fainted, and when I woke up, I was trapped here. That's right. I fainted too, and when I woke up, I noticed a strange feeling of separation within myself. A disconnect. It would seem. Thinking, thinking back on it now. At that point, my memory was gone. At that time, I had forgotten. I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember why I came to the school. And I couldn't remember why. I couldn't remember what my ultimate ability was. What make you forget all about that? All that. Hey. <laughs> Strange, isn't it? It's hard to imagine it happened by chance. It seems much too convenient. <laughs> Are you saying you lost? You think you lost your memory because? Indeed. I don't think. I'm positive. It was the work of the mastermind. They stole my memory. But why would they want to do that? It's only one reason I could come up, I can come up with. Because of my purpose and my ability, somehow they would have interfered with the mastermind's plan. So the mastermind just stole, stole them from you? However, it could also mean somehow my memories may be connected to the mystery of the school. And the mastermind. <laughs> this is why I had to get in. This is why I had to get in the back. <laughs> That's why I've been scanning things by myself this whole time. But if what you said is true, why didn't you ask the rest of us to help you? Why is that? <laughs> if I did that, and y'all work together as one. The mastermind would have noticed right away. Plus, so there's always the chance the mastermind is actually one of us. One of us. One of us. One of us. What? Well, don't make well, don't make such a too big deal out of it. It's just it's just a possibility. But since it is a possibility, we can't ignore it, right? Mastermind is one of us. She believed that, and of course she couldn't trust anyone around her. What's, what's, in which case, it only makes sense that she would look into missing memories by herself. However, <laughs> That being said, there was a limit of what I could do by myself. This is why I asked you to help me. <laughs> but why me? But why me? <laughs> because among everyone, you were you were you were least likely to be the mastermind. That was just my intuition, but I see. Interesting was right. Th it just was right though. Go in order to keep like me to be a mastermind. I understand. everything. My goal isn't to get out of here. It's to stay here. Huh? It's like, it's like a dream I had before, but why did that just happen? Listen. Are you okay? Oh yeah, it's nothing. 
It is nothing, right? Hey. Even now, I still trust you, you know? It's just, I'm not used to relying on others. Correct. I know I never asked you for help the right way, so I understand if you're not convinced. Honestly, I was convinced. I think that that's just her personality. You said you had a reason for doing all that mistakes on your own. So how that turned out? Are you able to remember anything? So... I think there's a lot, it's a lot I don't remember. At the very least, I was finally able to recall my purpose and my ability. You mentioned your ability? I... My ability. What everyone should have kn known me for. I'm the ultimate detective. The ultimate detective? Yeah. The reason I came to Hoopy Academy, there was someone I had to find here in the school. You had to find someone? Who? So... Well... It was the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. The headmaster? Why do you want to find the headmaster? Because... He's my father. What? In other words... I was separated from him as a child. It turned out, he became the headmaster of Hope's Peak. Kyoko's dad? Is Hope's, Peak he Hope's Peak's headmaster? Then that explains. When Alter Ego told us how he thought the headmaster was involved. I... I will find a way. Huh? I... No matter what it takes, I will find the headmaster. No matter what? No matter the cost. So, um... Kyoko, what's going on? Me? I... My memory hasn't come back at that... My memory had come back to that point. When I said that, I felt strange. It makes perfect sense now, of course. Since my whole purpose was for, for coming here was to find him. That makes sense. However, Listen, Makoto, I want to make this perfectly clear so there's no misunderstanding. I said that the headmaster was in the mastermind, but I didn't say that to protect him. I only said what I felt because, based on what I seen when I took into the headmaster's room. Then what did you see in there? So... The room had been ransacked. The shelves were a mess. The desk drawers dumped on the floor. The only conclusion is that some, someone who didn't know where anything was had been in there. I mean, mastermind, right? It's true. That was my assumption, yes. I confirm my suspicion. I decided to investigate the second floor of the dorms using the key I found. But why there? Because I also found this in the headmaster's room. Is it some kind of map? Indeed. It's a layout of the entirety of Hope's Peak Academy. I found it in the headmaster's room along with Mercury's profile and that key. The map showed that the second floor was home to a number of rooms meant for faculty use. 
Some of the staff must have had to stay overnight from time to time. And I figured that the headmaster would have some kind of private room there. I assumed that if, if, it were if that were true, the room would likely hold more clues. So I went, so I went to check. Correct. And that's when I finally remembered. I remembered that my purpose was to find the owner of that room. See, what this you went there to see if the headmaster really did have a private room there. However. But once I got there, I noticed that the second floor of the dorms didn't have any cameras or monitors. So what was it like, that part of the school, I mean? It's hard to describe. All I can say is... I... The moment I saw it, I realized. Whatever's going on in this school is more horrific than we ever imagined. What do you mean? So... I can't explain it. You'll need to see it for yourself. And I'm sure you'll get your chance soon enough. It sounds like it must have been important. And really ominous. However. <laughs> of course once I got second floor the second floor the, of course once I got second floor the dorms, there's no cameras and no monitors. I mean da 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 da. I da. I... So important, really ominous. Let's get out of here. Go talk to Kyoko. However, uh. this is why I had no idea what was going on in the rest of the building. Has to do with Mukuro Ikisaba, doesn't it? However, just to be perfectly clear, I didn't kill her, and I know it wasn't you either. I know you're right. That just means everyone but you and me had an alibi. So then, who did kill her? Anyway. What I can say for sure is that the mastermind is directly involved. To begin with, the point of the class trial of Mukuro Ikisaba was to get me killed. Get you killed? Indeed. I stole that key and disappeared. In, in retaliation, they wanted to draw me out and eliminate me. Correct. That was the point of the class trial. It was? The mastermind knew they couldn't interfere directly. Even because of the school regulations? That's right. With no restrictions, you are free to explore Hope Speak Academy at your discretion. In other words. Mastermind was adamant about following the rules. With that rule in place, they couldn't step in. Since they couldn't kill me themselves, they tried to use the class trial to do it. Oh, since they couldn't kill me themselves, they tried to use the class trial to do it. Mastermind couldn't step in because of the rules? I think it sounds like... Mastermind themselves was somehow bound by the school regulations. Hey. There's one other thing I'd like to point out about the murder of Mikuru Ikisawa. What's that? There was a point where the Mikuru may not have become the victim. It could have been you, Makoto. I could have become the victim? Indeed. 
You know what I'm talking about, right? Do you mean... During the night... I... I can hear them, you know. The footsteps of the God of Death. What? I can hear the God of Death as he moves. That ability... That ability naturally has me drawn the cases just like this. Anyway... This is exactly what happened with you. I was in the dorms... And I suddenly had a sense of dread. I looked down at the stairwell. And I saw a white shadow across the corridor. I can't chase right away. As I followed it, I saw the shadow go into your, your room. Correct. I ran to your room and I saw what was happening. I, I inter intervened immediately, of course. I interviewed immediately. I was like, "Hey, hey, kill a, 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 a mass, where has, hey, hey, mass building knife loser. What are you doing? What do you think of this school? What's your opinion on broccoli?" However, those no things, of course. I stopped them, but that led to. Whoever the mass assailant was, they ended up dead. Correct. And their murder was disguised, and, and the dojo key wound up in my room. It all had to be the work of the mastermind. And an attempt to use a class trial to eliminate me. So all this would mean whoever killed the Mopuro is also the mastermind, right? Indeed. I don't think this is evidence. That's what I think. But that's really bad, if true. I mean, the mastermind can kill whoever they want to, whenever they feel like it. But wait. Wait, that's not, doesn't that create another contradiction? The mastermind wanted to use the class trial to try and kill you because they couldn't interfere, right? Correct. You're right. That is a contradiction. It's just not Mukuro. They needed the class trial to kill me, but seemed ready to kill you in your room. Everything they did is a contradiction. So what does it all mean? In other words... It means... The meta mind is the one who's been cornered. Huh? Makoto. Just a little more. A little more and I should be able to figure out the mastermind's identity. The identity of the other ultimate despair. The other ultimate despair. There's no doubt that Mikuro was the ultimate despair and that he's dead. But I don't think the ultimate despair is just one person. Mm. It's not. Do, do, do. Mm. Do, do, do. Indeed. If you think about it, if you think about it, the ultimate despair seems to implicate whoever caused that event. You're talking about... Well, that's right. What happened a year ago? The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. The tragedy. The tragedy. There was a problem for that. They're the ultimate despair. That despicable group whose only purpose and motive come from despair. Then they're... Make no mistake. 
But they're the root of all the evil that has forced us to go through this. That is the ultimate despair. And that is our real enemy. To be continued. Dream Island Rocket present. Five alive. Well, wow. oh. Wow, with that, I think I'll call I'll call that a day. It's a little short chapter. Oh, sorry. well, not that short, but oh, in the, the end of this chat, in this ch in chapter five, I think it's a good time to call it. Call it. All right. Thanks for watching. If you solved the mystery of Kyoko and and had Kyoko and Mokoto bond a little bit more, not chapter five is over with. Will we solve the mystery of the school? What's going to happen next? Find out next time if Dagnarupa continues. I'd appreciate it if you left the, left the like and like and a comment on, on the thing. And please subscribe if you haven't yet. You won't regret it. That bell icon is helpful too. Wink. And if you can spare it, a little Patreon and Amazon wish list. Would be would be awesome. In the meantime, never stop learning. Enjoy the randomness. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>